My name is Matthew Haynes, and I am the founding owner of Club Q in Colorado Springs. I would first like to acknowledge and thank our local LGBTQ organizations, the City of Colorado Springs, the State of Colorado, and the national team at GLAAD, and so many other organizations for the efforts and support they have all provided to our community. Thank you, Chairman Maloney. Such an accurate and telling opening statement. And thank you, the House Oversight Committee, for creating a space and time to meet with us today. I know that we, our Club Q community, are in the thoughts and prayers of so many of you. Unfortunately, these thoughts and prayers alone are not saving lives. They are not changing the rhetoric of hate. None of us ever imagined that our little bar in Colorado Springs would be the target of the next hate crime. And I again repeat, we were targeted for the next hate crime. Last week, 305 charges were filed against the Club Q shooter. 48 of these charges were hate crime related. The number 305 alone graphically guess, illustrates yeah. just how Why? heinous this act was and how yeah, many people it. in this community were impacted. It also there. illustrates how much damage can be done Dad, when you so take hate though? and access like, to military-style well, assault weapons, him, putting those together. <laughs> we were lucky that father, night that the casualties father, were not much oh, higher. You know, when we opened well. 20 years ago, Colorado Springs that. was a very different place. <laughs> I am proud to have remained in Colorado Springs over the years, even when we did not feel welcome. Club Q has been a home for the community for 20 years. We are proud to say it will once again become our home. One man full of hate will not destroy us. Now is a critical time for national, state, local, communities, our community and religious leaders to drop the politics and work with our leaders and small business owners to support and affirm LGBTQ events, venues, communities, and most importantly, people. We need safe places like Club Q more than ever. And we need you, our leaders, to support and protect us. We have received hundreds of hate comments. I cannot read them all, but I'm going to read you a few examples. I woke up to the wonderful news that five mentally unstable faggots and lesbians and 18 injured. The only thing I'm mad about is that the faggots had courage to subdue the wonderful killer. I hope more shooting has happened. Have a blessed day. The shooter was doing God's work. Five less faggots, not enough. Those that stopped him are the devil. All gays should die. This is hate. It is not just us that is experiencing this. Our hero, Army veteran Rich Fierro, and his wife, Jessica, told me that they, they and their daughter have also been receiving similar hate messages. Finally, my husband and I had the honor to attend the White House ceremony for the signing of the Respect for Marriage Act yesterday. It was honestly <coughs> the first joy and pride I have felt since these horrific events at Club Q. And while the protections for marriage, like my own, were signed into federal law, I could not help but reflect that 169 members of Congress voted against that bill. 169 of your colleagues, hiding behind excuses and schematics and other reasons, sent a message to me, and it was a clear message, that the entire community, I'm sorry, to me and the entire community, that you do not respect my marriage. And through your inaction and your vote, you as a leader send the clear message, it is okay not to respect the basic human rights of loving who you love. And it is okay to disrespect and not support our marriages. We are being slaughtered and dehumanized across this country in communities you took oaths to protect. LGBTQ issues are not political issues. They are not lifestyles. They are not beliefs, they are not choices, they are basic human rights. And so I ask you today, not simply, what are you doing to safeguard LGBTQ Americans, but rather, 
What are you or other leaders doing to make America unsafe for LGBTQ people? Club Q is grieving. We are rebuilding. We are fighting. Let's stop this from happening again. Thank you.